This video will demonstrate one of the many uses of frequency modulation in the production of dubstep bass lines. One of the great things about creating a bass line for dubstep is that the process can range from being extremely simple to extremely complex. This particular example is relatively simple and creates a pretty heavy sound, while still leaving an infinite amount of room for extra creativity. Load Citrus, then load its default preset so you have a nice clean sine wave to work with. First, drop the master pitch by an octave, or 12 semitones. Now go to the tab for operator 1, and make its frequency ratio 0.5. Do this for operator 2 as well. Now go to operator 3 and change its frequency ratio to 16. Now go back to operator 2, click volume as the editor target, and modulation X as the articulator part and drag the first point to around 5%. Now we move our attention to the modulation matrix. Make sure frequency modulation is selected, then turn operator 2 to 1 FM to roughly 70%, and turn operator 3 to 1 FM to no more than 20%. Your nice little sine wave should have some growl to it now. Go back to the main settings panel, and change the modulation X knob as you play some notes on your keyboard. You'll instantly notice the bass sample talks with the modulation X knob. And keep in mind, this sound is only made with sine waves and frequency modulation. Essentially, you just made a very quick and very easy talking bass sample. Look in this video's description for more information about this sample and how to download the Citrus preset used in this video. And don't forget to check out the related videos section.